How is it going everyone? Team Rival here with another glorious top 10. Now this top 10 is very different from the first top 10 I did, the top 10 favorite special moves. I don't know if you guys checked it out, check it out if you haven't, that was a lot of work to put together. Um, that one was very positive, you know, keyword, favorite. And, you know, it wasn't, I didn't really crash in anything too much, you know, of course I made fun of Naruto, but I always make fun of Naruto, but... This one is top 10 video game series that need to die. There are series from every single developer I think I can name. There are series that need to die from Microsoft. There are series that need to die from Sony. There are series that need to die from Nintendo. There are series that need to die from third party developers. And die I mean is they just need to stop making games for them because they are just dragging these series out and just milking them for every single penny they're worth. And it's really not even that they're making quality games anymore. It's just, you know, oh, let's just keep extending the story, let's just keep on adding on to the story and making it into this ridiculous thing that is you by the you end up at Call of Duty status pretty much. So for this top ten I figured, you know, let's change it up a little bit, not that there was ever really a formula for these top tens. And I decided to bring in my very good and my very loyal friend Crazy Kembe to give me some sort of back and forth and we can kind of discuss these series and what we don't like about them and what why they should just, you know, for lack of a better word, drop dead. So let's jump into it and see what we decided on. Number 10. Alright, so coming in at number 10 is a series that we gotta start this off strong, and it is the Fable series, which in my opinion is overhyped to the max oh man it's like you know Peter Marnux he had this game it was supposed to be like the greatest game ever like made and it just didn't live up to the hype and ever since the sequel it's happened with every single title with Fable well when, you know when I first played Fable I actually enjoyed the first Fable you know but I expected it to be like this ground this ground big breaking yeah it was supposed to be like the greatest game like you age you, you watch him age from a young boy to old man and, and it was really just a pretty repetitive, you know, adventure game. You go around, do quests, you know, nothing that you haven't really ever done before. And, uh, you know, you got Fable 2, you got Fable 3, which, you know, in my opinion was the worst of the series. And then you have this Kinect game, Fable the Journey. I don't even think he's involved in Fable anymore, so I just shut it down. There's no reason to keep continuing making these games at all. Money? Eh, true. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. All right. To follow up, number ten is number nine. Devil May Cry. I'm talking the whole damn series, especially you know with the uh, initial. You had the one, two, three, and four. One was pretty good. Two was uh, mediocre. Okay. Three revived it. Four was eh. That's we don't need a reboot. Because to me, I think Devil May Cry just stopped. They just had that trilogy on PS2. That should have been it. You know, part four wasn't necessary. You know. And I think especially now that you have like Platinum Games making games like Bayonetta, where it's much more fast, you know, you, you have these machines that are able to process more things, so you can have these games be faster and higher paced. And Devil May Cry, you know, back in the day, that was a pretty fast paced game, but when, yes. you know, you look at games now like Bayonetta, like I said, that's a good example. It's much more, much more high adrenaline than this end, especially with this corny looking new Dante that you know, they can try to sell you that it's definitely a cry. It's not in my opinion. I saw the gameplay. The, oh, it's wow! It's so. I don't know. It's just so. It's not that it's bad, but it's just like, why? You don't need a new one. Yeah. Like you said, money. <laughs> don't need for a reboot. You just. Uh, I mean, I, I don't see that entire story. They should never have continued after like three, honestly, because. Yeah, the fourth one was just like, you know, then they start bringing in, what was it, Virgil, and... and Never, it was like half-assed, honestly. The fourth one was not even worth playing. I mean, yeah, the, the best you can do nowadays is just get the HD collection, call it a day, or even better, just get the PS2 games, because there's really no point in getting an HD collection for PS2 games. Yeah, it annoys me, they, they remake that, but they don't call it new one, Musha. Yeah, well, you know, that's for another video. <laughs> okay. Number 8. 
So this is where we start getting into the more controversial of the list. Coming in at eight is the God of War series. Now, God of War for me has always... The only reason to play the game is because A, it's manly, and B, Kratos is a fucking boss. And, you know, you'll play for the violence and that sort of stuff. But in terms of, you know, being, you know, an original game with cool, you know, concepts, that sort of stuff, no, it doesn't really hold the flame to anything, and especially they're making a prequel now, which doesn't Another even one. make sense. Yeah, in terms of the story, it doesn't make sense. They, the way that 3 ended, it, you know, they kind of left it open. So I, I've i just had enough of, of Kratos. Dude, every time a God of War story is like this, someone's pissed off Kratos, he must get revenge, but at this point he's killed everybody. Who else is there in to kill? Of, in terms of Greek mythology and, and Roman mythology, he has killed, I'd say, probably about 75% of the major players. Like, who's he going to kill now? Like, Pan? Come on, he's a little, like... It's it just got into the no he read the Pandora's box it was oh, also on the PSP right one. About that. See that's one of I didn't even play. You know you have the three main games, you have the prequel coming out, and you have what was it Chain of Olympus and the were, other PSP. Chain of Olympics was a prequel before part one, and then there was another one that was when he was in the army, and now I don't know what this one's about. It's also about him being in the army. It's weird. And I don't like like I said, it doesn't really make sense in terms of the story because he doesn't get those blades of chaos or fate or whatever they those you no, know those He has he has them. I saw But it. how? He doesn't get them till later in the in you know, once the thing happens with his family, that's when he gets the blades. He has- it just doesn't make sense. They're just like, Oh, we'll we'll keep the same mechanics for every single game, you know. Had they actually, you know, given him an arsenal to play with and not like a crappy bow or a wait, 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 wait. it has multiplayer. Oh God! <laughs> oh, that's just... oh, no, not even getting worth getting into. Oh, man. Number seven. So for number seven, this is actually a pretty general. It's not really a series per se, but it might as well be because they're all the fucking same. Licensed fighters, and I'm talking about these anime fighters. Sorry for the yeah, world. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. This Nar these Naruto games should have died with Ultimate Ninja on PS2, and they're bringing they're making a Budokai HD collection, and but it's only Budokai One and Budokai Three. Every single person I've talked to says they're not even going to touch Budokai One. They're just going to play Budokai Three. No online. So what's the point of buying it? And even so, I didn't Budokai. I wasn't even that big of a fan of Budokai Three. Don't get me wrong. It's yeah. probably the best game you'll get on PS2. But, you know, they was, like, slow. They had those stupid quick-time event things. I wasn't oh, a fan so of those. Oh, so but 2 was my favorite one, to be honest with you. And then, yeah, I think 2 was actually the greatest one. I like the uh, the thing with the board and that yeah, sort of stuff. Yeah, that was pretty fun. You know, we don't need, we don't need Naruto Storm Generations, and as soon as Generations is announced... Part 3 was announced <laughs> just recently. No, Part 3 was announced. And but Generation just came out. <laughs> yeah, Generations came out in March, and it was announced like two months ago. This game has come out eight months from now, <laughs> and it's coming out. You know, so it's just like they're they're just pumping these games out to make cash, and they don't have any depth. If they were like you know the Hokutono Ken fighter on PS2, where there was actual you know depth to the game that you could kind of sink your teeth into, and it wasn't just triangle, 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 or x x x square, 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 triangle, any sort of combination of that. You know, then you could actually, you know, warrant bringing out different games. But just to bring out games to to abuse the license, I'm never a big fan of that. Yeah, but it makes money, and you know the kids can't play real fighting games. It's true. Number six. Okay, so speaking of fighters. Number six, Mortal Kombat. This one for me, I liked Mortal Kombat 4. I liked Mortal Kombat 3. You know, there's I like playing Mortal Kombat. I just don't think it's that great of a fighter in general. It's too, like, I don't know. They block weird. It all, it, all the <laughs> look weird. It's too American for me. I'm not, <laughs> Gore doesn't really do anything for me. They killed Kang. They brought Liu Kang back. Uh. They killed Kang. They brought Liu Kang back again. Quan Chi's in a game. Quan Chi isn't in a game. 
oh, but you got a scorpion. He's the he's the big hero. Like <laughs> for me, it's there's just not really much for me to look forward to. And I mean, the new one was good, but I just think there's so many vastly superior. What about that fighters. injustice one they're coming out with? Oh, injustice! I mean, that was so garbage. I'm sorry. I, I mean. Especially with the now that they have like the jawbreaker things and and you know they have these these sort of moves that'll kind of like break the flow of fighters and especially I hated the new one because all the the best characters in the game were teleportation <laughs> teleport all over the place uh, it was terrible had the worst fucking cheapest boss battle you had to be cheap to win teleport <laughs> uppercut teleport uppercut yes. the final boss I kid you not. We don't need another Mortal Kombat. Just, you know, I guess make Injustice or whatever it's called. You can uh, yeah. try with that. But me, Mortal Kombat, you know, because they're trying to stay cohesive with the story, too. And that is never a good idea in a fight. <sighs> Forget the story. Just make a fighting Just game. Just make an ultimate mashup game. Call it a day and, and cash in on that. Number five. All right, so halfway down the list, and you know, once we're halfway down the list, we need to come with a big hitter, and it is. Dun, 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 dun. You knew it was coming. Capcom and Resident Evil. Also, with Capcom, you kind of got to just sweep them all under the rug. You know, granted, we did talk Capcom before with Devil May Cry. But me, for me, Resident Evil, it's not Resident Evil anymore. If you saw my video on Resident Evil 6, it's just there, you know. Revelations on 3DS was actually not too bad of a game, but at the same time, it wasn't too, you know, it, it doesn't scare you anymore, and they're not really trying to go for anything like that anymore. So they should either just make, you know, another outbreak. If they want to make multiplayer games, make multiplayer games. Don't make Operation Raccoon City. Don't make Resident Evil 6 the way you're making Resident Evil 6. <laughs> yeah. But you see what they're doing now? They're, they're learning out to all these, like, crappy developers to make their, like, big franchises. Yeah, well, that's they're just outsourcing all of their, you know, oh, here, go ahead and make a third-person shooter. Cause ex- I've been playing through Operation Raccoon City, and it's like... They, oh, it's it's a long story, but I mean, cause I, for, the, for the YouTube channel, of course, I want to destroy it in a review, but you, I'll play the game... And it just feels like you could you could have made it a generic army shooter and, and changed up the setting and changed up everything and it would just be you know a different game entirely. So you know it doesn't have the soul anymore. And once it doesn't have the soul, what's the point of even calling Resident Evil? Didn't the dude who made Resident Evil go like left plat- platinum it, games? He, Mikami, I think his name was. Yeah, after like four, he left, right? Yeah. He, oh yeah, he left after that and. I think they made Shadows of the Damned, and that was actually, you know, not too bad. Not See, that, that explains everything. Yeah, you know, that's that's the problem with game developers, I think, is they, you know, they have the license, they have the ability to make these games, but once the people who made the games left, they, they just can't let them die. You know, it can't be like, you know, with Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings where you know an ending is coming. There is no ending in sight for Resident Evil. They're just going to keep on going and going and going because people, you know, they've been playing Resident Evil since Money. what, 90, what was it, 8, 7? Oh, no, no, 6, actually. It's around there. Some Sometime in the 90s. So it's. I think it's time for Resident Evil to, uh, you know, shoot the zombie and, and keep them in the grave this time. Let's keep them dead. <laughs> Number four. And for number four, we have some kitty. <laughs> with some kitty hearts, kingdom hearts. Uh oh. I hate this series. Oh boy. Here I go. <laughs> hate this series. This is uh, some simple ass fucking square, 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 triangle. Fundaga. And oh, we can fight with that one, Goofy. Listen. <laughs> It's a cool concept to have Disney characters but Square Enix characters, but is it just me or is the game 95% Disney and like 5% Square Enix? Like, can I get a like, can I get a little like Cloud fight on my side? Can I get a little Orange fight on my side? No, you, you know you'll fight like Sephiroth in a in a boss battle and that'll be the end. And we've had so many. They have not made Kingdom Hearts three yet. 
Kingdom Hearts 3D is coming out. Yeah, but that's not Kingdom Hearts 3. That's another 3D. stuff. 3D. All right, let's go through the list. They had Birth by Sleep. They had uh, Drop Dream Distance. I think that's well, the... 356 Days. What are we yeah, called? 356 Days. Chain um, by Memories. Chain of Memories. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there was another Chain of Memories on Game Boy Advance. Yeah, that's the same thing. Oh my god, just give it a rest. How many times... Like, see, the thing with the property, you you know, using Disney property is they only have so many good movies. They better make a fucking Toy Story uh, level or something like that because otherwise they're just, you know... How many times are you going to play through Aladdin? How many times are you going to play through Beauty and the Beast before you get bored? What about the Pixar films? Yeah, I mean, you know, give me a Cars level or something. I, I don't fucking know. You got to you gotta give me a Square Enix level. Give me a, a, a Final Fantasy sort of level. But, you know, you're never going to get that. Because why? I don't know why. They just don't like making good design decisions. It's money. And I hate playing as a little fucking crusty-ass kid. Sora sucks. Riku sucks. They all suck. <laughs> Stop talking about this. Number three. All right, so we're in the top three now, and, and you know, this is where you knew this was coming. But oh, it's yes. All inclusive sort of one. Again, Call of Duty, Gears of War, and Halo. You knew Call of Duty was going to be on the list. How could I make a list like this without it? Why is it not number one, though? Well, you know. Call of Duty, it's, I've, you know why I hate it, you know why everyone hates it. It's just been so, you know, Activision once again added, doing Money. what it absolutely does worse. Just milk, milk, milk those fucking little udders. to change ching 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 Now we got Black Two coming out. Oh, the kids love it. And, you know, but the thing is, is at this point, I just see no one playing Call of Duty anymore. There's like one person, there's always the one person who will just never give it up. It's for, you know the more casual gamers definitely than you know anyone who's slightly hardcore into games has dropped call of duty even my friends who used to love call of duty don't play call of duty anymore call of duty and is it, such a old franchise like yeah i mean call of duty i have call of duty 1 on ps2 and it was a completely different game it's like but when it came out 2002 yeah, two, two, I think it was like early, early PS2. I don't think it was a launch title, but I think it wasn't too soon after. Yeah, it was an old, old franchise. Yeah, and then Gears of War. Oh my god. <laughs> what is with that run they do? The run where they're like, hold, they're, 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 <laughs> they're at fucking almost licking the ground. It's <laughs> every single time. You got the trilogy. It's done. We don't need, what is it, Gears of War Judgment? Oh, it's before the war. They love that. <laughs> yeah, but we don't care about before. We saw what happens. We know how it ends. I'm not curious. It's not the, only, <laughs> the absolute only reason to play Gears of War, and even Halo I'll throw in there, is to play it through on co-op. They always get you with yes. that co-op. You know, Even with Call of Duty, Zombies. They once you throw that co-op in, people love that. They'll eat that shit up because what's better than you know playing a game with some of your good buds? But Gears of War, I, I hate everything about Gears of War. It's this like pseudo like oh yeah we're man. No, you're it's stupid ugly ass shit, Gray. <laughs> Marcus Venus is the worst like protagonist in history. <laughs> no personality. You know, Halo was just... What can you say about Halo? We've had enough. I've just had enough. New trilogy. Yeah, we are with new studio. And they're all... Episode... I mean, it's kind of cool that they're coming through. You know, they'll give you, like, those Spartan Ops missions or whatever. Well, it's Halo 4, 5, and 6? Like... We don't need 6. This is what I'm saying is, is they don't know how to... Like, Lord of the Rings. I know when J.R.R. Tolkien wrote that. He had an ending in mind. He knew how the story was going to progress. You know, of course, you fill in the gaps as you go. But it's like with these with games, the flaw is is that they never know when, when they, all right, this is where we end and this is, you know, we'll make a new IP or something like that. It's successful, so they'll just keep, oh, yeah, well, now here's this step in the story. Oh, now Master Chief is in space, you know, floating and fucking well, bumps. Well, I'm to finish the fight. Well, I'm to that. <laughs> just, what happened to just blowing everything up? And, and that's the end of the enemy. Like, I thought the Covenant was done. I mean, I don't really know the Halo lore too much, but... Who cares? Who cares? Number 
number two. All right, so number two is actually a surprise because we actually like this series. This is a series that we enjoy very much so, but it is not a surprise to see it on this list. You'll know why when I say it. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, boy. Metal Gear Solid has been around, like I said, same time as Resident Evil, about 1997, 1996, we had Metal Gear Solid 1, we had Metal Gear Solid 2, we had the prequel, of course, Metal Gear Solid 3, we had Metal Gear Solid 4. These are intense story-based games, intensely story-based. Some of the greatest writing you could ever possibly put together in a game, I think. Yeah. What else is left to be done? Metal Gear Solid 5. Yeah, don't they have a new engine coming? Yeah, but well, some sneakers back. It does, I don't understand. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't really understand how we don't need Rising. We don't. Well, there was also Peace Walker. Don't forget about that one. That was another what one. That, prequel. Uh, yeah, another prequel. I mean, it, for me, it just seems that, like I said, they they don't have an end in sight. Metal Gear Solid Four for me was. I was, you know, once it was over and said and done with, and I had finally closed the book and seen all the uh, the cutscenes, the 15 million hour cutscenes, I was happy. <laughs> I was content. I was like, that's finally, you know, I can close the book on the Metal Gear Solid. And it's a series, you, of course, you're going to want to go back and play at some point. Right. But I don't want to have to play through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Peace Walker, right. this, that, the other thing. Yeah. I mean, Snake is Snake. How many times is it going to... It's like with Die Hard. They just keep on pumping them out. <laughs> we need to Die Hard. We don't need Metal Gear Solid 5. We don't need Rising. It's okay to let a game series rest for, you know, 15 years. But, you know, of course, just keep on pumping money. them out. Because money, 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 money. Number one. Here we go. Big number one. Uh -huh. We covered all of them, I think. Of course, you know, to, to come up with this list, you have to cut a few out here and there. But this one, you can see it coming if you know anything about me. Final <laughs> Fantasy slash Ooh. especially, especially Square Enix in general. Huh. Final Fantasy. Oh, my God. They should, in my opinion... 10 was the end all for me. Final Fantasy 10, I hated the characters except for Orin. Orin was a beast. Yeah. So story wasn't too much, but in terms of just pure game mechanics and the battle system, it had, in my opinion, the most phenomenal battle system yeah. I think I've seen in a uh, Final Fantasy. You know, with the active, you were able to switch guys in, in and out at will, and with the spear grid and stuff like that. You cannot improve upon that any more than they did. And then they made 10 2, then they mm -hmm. made 12, then they made 13. And you, if you look, I want you to do something for me. I want you to go into Google, type in Final Fantasy, I don't know what, 3, 4 maybe. Compare it to just take the box art. Look at the box art or look at you know uh, some concept art of the characters. Then type in Final Fantasy 13 lightning concept art or Sarah concept art 13 <laughs> and I want you to look at the manly ass Final Fantasy 3 <laughs> and then I want you to look at this strange like beautiful like I don't even know what the hell it is it's not Final Fantasy like this nice beautiful world everyone's <laughs> pretty they all look so nice wow, Sarah looks so cute like oh my God. just shut it down Oh, that game was one of the most, if not the most linear game I've played ever. They, and I mean, 13-2, they really botched that with, you know, the downloadable content. And, you know, you're not getting the full package. So I don't even think that game... No, nah, they botched it with coming out with 13-2, a sequel. Well, 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 that's, yeah, obviously, but then they botched it even more with... You know, even when you buy 13.2, which isn't that long of a game, if I remember correctly from what I've heard, I think it's about 30 to 40 hours, which in terms of a Final Fantasy game is a little bit on the lower side, you know. Spectrum. Versus 13, this game has been developed for six years. Nobody has played the game. 
Yeah, and then people there was rumors going around that it was it was canned, but Square Enix came out and said, "Oh, it's not canned." But like, what else have they made? Near was mediocre. They are the life the lifeblood of RPGs and JRPGs in general. I you know. wonder why JRPGs aren't doing so well. I would, you know, my first fingers are going to Square Enix because Square Enix kind of sets the tone for the other how guys. things are going to go. And I mean, yeah, there is the saving grace of Dragon Quest. Well, that's only Japan. Yeah, but that's, you know, Dragon Quest X, where that's not has not been announced for America yet. That's the saving grace. But, you know, for every Dragon Quest X, you get Nier, you get, uh, what was that game? There was a, there's a few other, you know, if you'll get some Final Fantasies. You're not going to get you know, you, if you're trying to find any sort of glimmer or, or, you know, the teeniest, tiniest teardrop of old Square Enix or, you know, Squaresoft or Enix, you know, when they were before they merged, Square you're Soft. not going to get that. Yeah, it's like the beginning of the end because it's pretty much the downfall of Final Fantasy is where they're going, the direction they're going right now. And I mean, yeah, the tech demo was pretty cool that Square Square Enix came out, but that was even less Final Fantasy than I had ever seen. Because the way I see it, it's all just graphics and no, no, it's just graphics. The gameplay is shallow. Everything else is shallow. It's just pretty. It looks pretty. You only played through 13 for the battle system. It was a good. It was a good battle system, but it wasn't it was anything repetitive. I mean, because you don't, you don't really do anything, honestly. Yeah, you're really not. It's. I mean. I guess that that's them trying to appeal to, you know, modern gamers. Because let's face it, modern gamers they don't want to sit, and you know, select attack, magic, thunder go like, you know, they they just want quick, 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 quick. Like, <laughs> it's like they want more, you know. And then they were trying to appeal to that, but the, the characters are not relatable. This, what even happened in Final Fantasy 13? I don't know, I man. I, I forget. I was in, like four slot, and that was it. I remember a little crying, and it was sighs, and... I remember, oh, we are frozen. Oh, we're not frozen again. Yay, the day is saved. And then all of a sudden, we need 13-2, and they might even be coming out with 13-3. I'm like 95% sure they are. <laughs> if they do that, that's that's the jump in the shark, in my opinion. Yeah, this the Final Fantasy game too. is dead. It's a damn shame because Final Fantasy X, Final F- you can go any of the first ten Final Fantasies you can play except for eight because eight is terrible. Yes. <laughs> you can play any of them, and they are all fantastic games. You can play the one on NES, Final Fantasy One, the one, the class-based one that was yeah, really, yeah, yeah. you know, that's a that's a hard game to play these days if you're not used to RPGs, and yeah. it will be you will have a much more enjoyable time, a much more memorable time than playing Final Fantasy 13 too. Because the yeah. essence of Final Fantasy is in those like 10 games, but after 10, they just went really experimental. And then I think one of the, the main guy left and founded Mistwalker, I believe it was. Sakaguchi, that was the guy who made, yeah. that was the guy who made Final Fantasy. The and creator. now I'm thinking, I think the last story or made the last story, so that's coming out soon. So if you want to play Final Fantasy, just play uh, or you want a good Square Enix game, just play the last story because it's not Square Enix and it's not Final Fantasy, so you're guaranteed a uh, a half decent time. Yep. Well, all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the list. I think it was a pretty controversial, but we did give very valid reasons as to why you know series such as Gears of War, Final Fantasy, the licensed anime fighters, which I think a lot of you aren't going to agree with me on, you know, Kingdom Hearts. We gave very valid reasons. You know, of course we didn't pick Nintendo games, and I think the reason why I didn't really pick a Nintendo game is because it's very different from a story-based game. You know, you'll play a Mario game, and you'll just play a Mario game. You're not really expecting anything. You know what you're getting. You know, you, you, know, you can pass over it if you don't really want it. With a series like Gears of War, with the series, you know, even Call of Duty, Final Fantasy, these games are based around a story. They're just... You know, the Mario, all it is, oh, Princess Peach got kidnapped again. Oh, we gotta go save her. Oh, Princess Peach got kid- kidnapped again. Oh, we gotta go save her. You know, these games, you have higher expectations for a Gears of War game than you might for a Mario game. A Mario game, I'm just trying to have fun. A Legend of Zelda game, that's, uh, you know, another one I was thinking about putting that on the list, but it was, I, I think Skyward Sword kind of breathed a new air and kind of proved that there is still some sort of longevity in the Legend of Zelda series. 
So I don't think I would put Legend of Zelda to, to rest just yet, although they are kind of running out of steam. But Miyamoto is a god, so I kind of have to give him a little bit of credit because, let's face it, there would be, you know, the video game industry would not be where it was if it wasn't for, you know, 1985-86 Super Mario Brothers, NES, you know, Miyamoto kind of revitalized the gaming industry almost single-handedly. So that's why I didn't really pick any Nintendo series, and aside from that, they don't really have any series that... You know, I can make a whole nother video, top 10 game series that need to be revitalized and brought back to life, and like four of those games would be Nintendo games. So, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Again, thank you so much, Crazy Kenbei, for, you know, giving me some good back and forth and kind of, a, you know, giving me a different opinion as to why we should. A good, logical, rational opinion. Not like phone, just yell and, and scream. A good, logical, rational opinion as to why... These same series need to die. And another top 10 will be coming somewhere down the line. These kind of just, you know, pop up and we'll do them. And it's a fun time. But anyways, until the next time, I'm out of here.